Welcome and hello. My name is Nathaniel Fawcett and I graduated from PACA in 1990. And I'm bringing you greetings from Sao Paulo, Brazil, of course, but also from our beloved PACA campus. When you think of PACA, what comes to your mind? Is it the beautiful campus? Is it a particular teacher that had an impact on you? Was it the community? Was it sports? Was it the academics? What comes to your mind? PACA was founded by missionaries to Brazil who were concerned that their children have a truly Christian education. This was lacking in Brazil at the time. There were a couple Christian schools, but they were far away from Zona Sul, where PACA today is located. There were also other international school options, but they were expensive, and they did not teach a clearly Christian worldview. It was out of this concern that PACA was born. Several missionary families then came together to specifically address this need. They founded Pan American Christian Academy in 1960, meeting at Igreja Batista do Itaim. The first faculty consisted of five teachers and students from a variety of different countries. During its early years, the school functioned in a number of different rented properties until finally in 1965, the school purchased a small city block in the region of Campo Belo. Originally, this property had been horse stables and chicken coops which were converted into classrooms and they were able to expand. But it soon became clear that this was not a long-term location for the school. In July of 1972, PACA purchased 33,000 square meters, that's about seven and a half acres, in the southern zone of Sao Paulo in the region known as Rio Bonito. In 1973, they broke ground on building the new campus and in 1974, they began classes. For most of the 1980s, PACA was made up of approximately 80% North American students. But as we moved into the 90s and even into the early 2000s, Brazil became less of a priority country for foreign missionaries as the focus of world missions moved to the 1040 window. So even though PACA lost a large percentage of its missionary student population, God made up the difference with Brazilian business families, with the families of diplomats and those employed by different consulates, as well as local Brazilian ministry families. Today, PACA is truly an international school. PACA's enrollment averages 340 students with 170 students in the pre-K grades through grade five and another 170 in grades six through 12. And our student body is approximately 30% North American, 30% Brazilian, 29% Korean, and 11% scattered from other nationalities. The PACA campus has also grown. In 2006, the school took a major step by investing in a property adjacent to the school purchasing it, and that property has provided a location for the preschool, for an auditorium, for a second cafeteria, and also housing for foreign hire teachers. Our 8.9 acre campus is considered an oasis in the metropolis of Sao Paulo. It is beautiful, it is airy, it has a lot of green, and it is a place of sanctuary. Our campus is a major selling point to new families and new students. Because as we like to say, it's full of paz. So what are the main selling points of a PACA education today? First of all, PACA is a loving community. The relationships that are formed here are a priority, relationships between students, relationship between teachers and relationship between the students and the faculty and staff member are of utmost importance. Secondly, we intentionally integrate the Christian faith with learning. It's amazing that at times a teacher at PACA has the opportunity to affect and influence a child or a student's life for eternity. 
Our curriculum is intentionally bibliocentric in its approach to each discipline. And thirdly, PACA provides a college preparatory education. We believe in educating the entire person. To that end, our students participate in Knowledge Bowl, academic competitions, athletics, drama, theater, and many other extracurricular activities, as well as the in-classroom disciplines. We believe that this is what will best prepare them for success at the next level. And PACA students have been accepted into a variety of top-tier colleges and universities worldwide. In 2020, PACA embraced four specific student outcomes, which we believe will help train the next generation of Christ followers. Firstly, we want PACA students to be whole, evidenced by loving God with heart, soul, mind, and strength, loving neighbor as self, and following a life of discipleship. Secondly, we want our students to be achievers, evidenced by academic and scholastic success, application of knowledge and wisdom in solving authentic daily problems, and being willing to engage in new challenges and new opportunities. Thirdly, we want our PACA students to be stewards, evidenced by self-care, other care, and care for creation. And fourthly, and finally, we want our PACA students to be catalysts, evidenced by a growth mindset, servant leadership, and discipleship. While teachers and students have come and gone over the years, and while our campus has changed significantly, we know that PACA is not primarily about a place, but it is about the people and the work that God is doing to train up Christ followers to impact his world with his truth. Pan American Christian Academy, for over 60 years, nurturing hearts, developing minds, educating for eternity.